It's a discovery for the ages, a centuries-old ship among the most well-preserved ever found in the Gulf of Mexico. Now researchers are trying to figure out whether it may have belonged to pirates. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has the fascinating video. Take a look. This is the Okeanos Explorer. We are now on the seafloor. In the western below. Gulf of Mexico, we are diving on a shipwreck. About 4,000 feet deep lies a treasure archaeologists dream of. You can see the wreck now. A 200-year-old shipwreck, complete with an anchor, cannons, and muskets. We knew that there was an historic wreck the minute we saw it. It was an amazing moment. Jack Irian is with the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management in New Orleans. He, along with scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, used underwater robots with HD cameras to view the 80-foot vessel a few weeks ago. The site had first been noticed last year during an oil and gas survey. There is something energizing about that discovery, about that being the first person to actually see something that hasn't been seen by human eyes in hundreds of years. Everything was broadcast over satellite through the Internet. Anybody with an Internet connection anywhere in the world could see exactly what we were seeing at exactly the same time. Most of the ship's wood had worn away, but its copper shell was well preserved. So was the kitchen. That's a stove right there with plenty of gin and wine bottles, leaving researchers to wonder, what type of ship was this and where was it going? It could have been related to the uh, Texas Revolution or revolts and revolution in Mexico or even the War of 1812. Pirate ship or not, it's a sunken treasure of sorts, further feeding our fascination with the high seas. For today, Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Atlanta.